I'm not the healer, but I know the healer. Okay, His sir. name is Jesus. Okay, sir. I will introduce you to Jesus now. Okay. Breath as the great God of the universe demonstrates his mighty power. The Holy Spirit is busy dispelling every dark shade of sickness from her body. According to the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 30, you can see the woman taking her first step for the past eight years now. You can see her. To God be the glory. Today, the Lord is setting her free, and you can see her right there taking a step. That is what she could not do before now because of the problem of inability to she work. She's even jumping. You can see her doing what this she could not do for the past years. This, this is, is the mighty glorious. power of God has set her free. This oh. is what the Lord God Almighty has done in life for this sister. Setting her oh. free from this terrible problem of inability wonderful. to work. She has been lost for the past eight years. You can see her jumping. This is what the Lord God Almighty has done in her life. She has tried all she could humanly to find solutions to her problem or to know her will. This woman came to the synagogue church of all nations in a terrible condition all the way from Italy. She is unable to walk due to her affliction and was brought to the church in a car. Let us watch how the Holy Spirit will hear her cry for help. My name is Officer Tusulema Igbadume. I'm from Edo State. I live in Italy. I'm 30 years old. For eight years now, I cannot walk. My legs and my hand, I cannot walk. I ate poison in the dream. I cannot get up from bed. My it's my family that is taking me to be uh, bed, to, to the toilet, and to eat. I ate attachment, human head. I ate it in the dream with uh, needles and uh, fingers. They gave me to eat in the dream. And sometime in the dream, I will be removing my gut and uh, ant from my fingers. Since there, I cannot walk. They used to take me to the bathroom. They will bring me out. If I want to go to the toilet, my husband will help me. All my brothers, they will help me. This is my ID card. I work where they are selling cars. As a clerk in a Latin office. And I've gone to many hospitals. He has taken me to Florence, Pisa. Pisa. No place, even in Milan, he has went around on the old place, spending money. The doctor said this sickness is not for a young lady, that is for men of uh, people of 70, 90. That I come, I'm having this sickness. So you know they don't understand. I cannot tell them I eat the dream. They will say, even though you eat the dream, what is the meaning? So they were just taking me around everywhere. Somebody gave me an address from there that I should come to synagogue, that they can do it for me. And the doctor said the bones are decaying and the vein. This is my picture before, before I, uh, I had the sickness. <laughs> this is me before I had the sickness. Man of God, please, I want you to heal me from, from the crown of my head to the sole of my toe. I will be very grateful and I want God to heal me. I want to walk and I want... I'm not the healer, but I know the healer. Okay, His sir. name is Jesus. Okay, sir. I will introduce you to Jesus now. Okay. Prophet D.B. Joshua walks toward the vehicle and stretches forth his hand in prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the healing power of God comes upon her damaged body. Jesus! With the Holy Spirit involved, changes are beginning. You can see the fingers already shaking, shaking, confirming the presence of the Holy Ghost power of God Almighty, bringing back life onto the lifeless fingers of that sister. Let us continue to watch. Never a disease Jesus Christ cannot kill, never a problem he cannot solve, never a burden he cannot bear. Prophet TB Joshua instructs the lady to rise out of the car and walk. Watch as her body, which was decaying and in great pain, now is able to move for the first time in eight years after the prayer. Her feet touch the ground and the crowd holds its breath as the great God of the universe demonstrates his mighty power. 
The Holy Spirit is busy dispelling every dark shade of sickness from her body. According to the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 4, verse 30, you can see the woman taking her first step for the past eight years now. You can see her. To God be the glory. Today the Lord is setting her free and you can see her right there taking her step. That is what she could not do before now because of the problem of inability to walk. You can see her doing what this she could not do for the past eight years. This, this is, is the mighty power of God has set her free. This is what the Lord God Almighty this has done in life wonderful. of this sister. Setting her free from this terrible problem of inability wonderful. to walk. She has been lost for the past eight years. You can see her jumping. This is what the Lord God Almighty has done in her life. She has tried all she could humanly to find solutions to her problem or to know her bill. Filled with joy and victory as the Lord has taken over her problem, Mrs. Igbadume walks, jumps, and dances around the church, celebrating how Jesus Christ has wiped away her tears of sickness. She removes the special sock and walks freely into the church. I can walk. I can even feel strength in my hands. I can walk. For so many I can ways. Walk for everything. Nothing. I'm not feeling any pain. My name is Afisa Tusulema Igbadume. What brought me to synagogue is I cannot walk. They gave me poison in the dream. I ate attachment, needles, and threads. Since then, I'll be having a problem. My husband brought me with car because I cannot walk. For eight good years, I've been suffering from this pain. I've gone around all over the world. I've been to many hospitals. I've been to evil state. I've been to different country for this problem, but no solution. So my friend over there, the mother is a member of synagogue. He gave me the address of this place. Go to Nigeria. I will talk to my mother. My mother will take you down to synagogue. For me, since I have a state there, because I've been there for nine years, I said, okay, let me go and try. Not that I really have the faith that I was going to get healed here, but I said, okay, let me go and try. Since I have my stay, if I go, if you don't work, I come back. So I bought my trial flow ticket. So when I came, they arranged me in a majesty post there. My husband brought me with car because I cannot walk. So the man of God came to me and asked me, Madam, what is your problem? I said, man of God, please heal me. I'm not the healer, but I know the healer. Okay, His sir. name is Jesus. Okay, sir. I will introduce you to Jesus now. Okay, sir. I cannot walk. I've been sick for a very long time. That this thing has eaten all my money. I've gone many places. I've gone to many medical doctors. All of them, all of them said, you cannot get healed. You'll be taking all these drugs, suggestion to keep yourself. That even for the process you're taking off this thing, you cannot get pregnant because the drugs are too hard for you. But he even told me that this sickness is too, you are too young for this sickness because this sickness is for old people. How come you have this sickness? But I don't have much to say because I know what is wrong with me, that this thing was real. But if I should explain to them over there, they would not believe me before I came down to synagogue. And the day the man of God healed me, it's like a dream for me. Because for me, I said, I don't know. As I was sitting down there when he came, he said, Mother, what is your problem? I said, please, man of God, heal me. I cannot walk. I'm full of pain from my head to my legs. I cannot walk. I cannot do anything. I cannot even go to the toilet alone. They help me to go to the toilet. They help me to bath. They help me to eat. He just said, I command you, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. I felt something in me. Even when I stood up, I was shivering because I was scared. But today I'm walking. Not only walking, I'm even putting on high shoes. You can see me now. So, I don't even have hope of getting baby. All I was praying for, I believe one day, God will answer my prayer because you know what it means for a young lady like me to stay for eight years in pain. You see your friend dressing fine, happy, you, you cannot be happy because you cannot walk. He gave me money. When I complained, that man of God, look, I'm without money. I don't have anything in my pocket anymore. I spent all my money. He gave me money. Take, use it for yourself. Wearing high-heeled shoes, Mrs. Igbadume jumps for joy, demonstrating just how the resurrection power of Jesus brought life to her dead body after eight years. I'm very fine and very strong.
Ready? 